Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Start with some chopped celery, some water chestnuts, some beautiful shiitake mushrooms, a fresh onion, and we'll combine our ingredients in a bowl with some split peas and piles and piles of bean sprouts. All right, that's enough. Set this aside and we'll get into our chicken. This is boneless thigh meat. I've cut it long ways and now I'm doing a cross cut, making an edible bite-sized piece. Now, in a hot pan, we'll add some peanut oil and start cooking our chicken. Add some black pepper. And now that it's cooked thoroughly, we'll just set it aside and let it cool down. Here I've got a couple cups of chicken stock. We're gonna set a little bit of it aside so we can mix some cornstarch into it and add that later as a thickening agent. But for now, we'll add the soy sauce to flavor the stock that we're gonna to add to our vegetables here in a moment. This is very simple to do. Just stir and add to taste. If you want some more, like I do now, add some more. Give it a stir and taste. Now for the cornstarch. Add that to the stock you set aside, and with your hand, mix it up. Pinch off all the powdery pieces so it all becomes liquefied. You'll know by checking your hand. Now add your oil to a hot wok or an electric skillet. Add your vegetables. Temperature should be between 350 to 400 degrees. The secret to Chinese cooking is high temperatures and liquids. Add the chicken. And once you've got that all stirred in, reach for the stock and soy sauce and pour all of that in as well. This is going to help cook the shiitake mushrooms, and the peas. Once you've got that to a boil, add some sesame oil, but use it sparingly. A teaspoon to two teaspoons, no more. Now your cornstarch. I'm adding about half of this just to see how much it'll thicken. If it doesn't thicken up enough, then I add more. But you'll only know once it starts boiling again. Now, gotta have that ginger. I like to add the ginger at the end so it doesn't completely fuse the food with ginger taste. Just a nice kick. Plate with rice and crispy noodles. And there you have it. Eastern chow mein right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.